Hi, it's just James here. This is a very quick run through um, using Gel Pro Analyzer. This is version 3.1, and we're using this software to quantify Western blots. So we've done a STS page electrophoresis, we've transferred onto a membrane, and we've stained with specific antibodies for a protein of interest and we developed these uh, in the uh, darkroom and you can see on the screen here we've got four membranes that have been exposed to antibody and the one on the bottom left is the one we want to quantify so um, first thing to do is just make sure you're doing the right thing within the software there's a rather complicated menu up the top and the usual windows drop down menus just make sure that you show the toolbar for the 1D gels because of course this is a 1D gel not a dot plot and you'll see here that the 1D gel menu appears and it happily goes through in order what it is you need to do to your um, picture to be able to uh, analyze it. Um, the first thing it's wanting us to do is rotate it but what I want to do before I rotate it is just to make sure that I'm only looking at what I want to look at and I only want to look at this gel down the bottom not these other three so I'm going to just choose the rectangle tool and I can see here I can highlight the area I'm interested in go to the edit menu and do this thing called duplicate crop. What it'll do is make a copy of this entire image and crop it down to the right size. So there we are, it's now cropped our image. So I can just go around and close the out back one of the background. I can zoom in on this if I want to, but frankly I don't need to zoom in. And I can go to the rotate tool and just make sure um, that this gel, here we are, just click rotate, make sure this gel is absolutely straight. Uh, I won't save changes to it, there we are. So I've now got a straight membrane um, the next thing to do is add lanes and bands. When I click on this button, it'll then tell me that my image is in color and I need to make it into a monochrome image to be able to analyze it correctly. Um, so it says here a monochrome image needs to be created. You can choose whether you extract the red, green or blue channel or just intensity. Uh, but since this is a uh, grayscale um, development on a um, on a photographic film, we're just going to go exact intensity and click on there. And what it's done for us now is it's made us a, a grayscale version of the image. We don't need to save that one. And this is our grayscale image. And we can add various lanes to it. Uh, I'm going to click on the Add Lanes button at the top here. And using the cursor on the screen, you just click where you think a lane is going to appear. You can see a window has appeared down the bottom. It's just off the screen. And this is showing me uh, the traces, which I'll show you in a second. So I've just clicked on these bands and you can see the, the bands have appeared. If I bring this little window up at the bottom here and just move them up out the way and say OK. You can see now that if I click on each of these lanes, down the bottom you end up with this lovely densitometry plot showing you the um, absorbance or the density of each band as I go across. And you can see these are a good western, it's got nice clean bands. Um, it's also added an extra band up here, so if you find that it's added more bands than you need, you can then delete various lanes. So I'm going to click on Delete Lanes and just click on this one up here, and now it's deleted that one. Um, I can then add it again if I wanted to, so there we are, I've added that lane. Um, I can also then add and delete bands down the bottom, so I can click on Delete Band and remove the band that's not interesting to me and now I've got the bands that I'm more interested in showing here. Uh, you'll notice that the lane width was set at what it says here at 60 pixels. That just happens to be the right width for this western. You may find that some of your westerns need narrower. I can click this down to make a narrower lane or click it up to make a slightly wider lane. I'm going to leave that at 60. And when you start playing with the lane width, you'll see it automatically puts in these purple lines, and these purple lines are your background lines. So when you finished fiddling with the settings in here, which basically you want to leave pretty much as they are, but add and remove lanes, press OK, and the next one in the list is background. I'm just going to delete all the background lanes and add my own lines. So I'm going to add lines in between the lanes of my western. You may find if you've run lots of lanes, you don't have access to the between lane lines, so just add a, a background at the beginning at the end, and that helps the uh, software get that right. And then just press OK. Uh, that sorted that out for me. Um, if you've got molecular weight standards and you want to work out the molecular weight of a product, you can do that. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just more interested in now working out what the uh, density of each of these bands are. So I click on the mass IOD, mass meaning mass, and IOD meaning integrated optical density. So I click on that, and it brings up this rather complicated and busy spreadsheet. But the great news is you've got a choice at the top. 
you've got amounts, relative absorbency or percentage, well we want to do amounts because we want to work out what the uh, expression is of each of these proteins and then in the second little box here you've got IOD or max OD obviously if you're looking for peaks you choose max but we're interested in the total size of the band so we choose IOD what you then see now is R1, 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 R1 and R1 that's the name of our lanes uh, we've got the integrated optical density here written in blue for each of our lanes and if you look down you can see that it's saying that it's 221, 201 194, 191, 100 and 231 respectively for our bands uh, and so you can then write these numbers down and give you an idea of the um, arbitrary unit of density for each one you can choose relative absorbance and you can see what it's done here is it's divided um, everything into one and it shows you your uh, density as a fraction of one that's not particularly useful it gets a bit confusing when you've got multiple gels to analyze and you can do the same as a percentage so that's uh, not particularly useful so the simplest one to leave it on is amounts and you can write down these numbers or copy them into Excel um, you can do that by saving uh, this you can add it to a file you can print it you can copy it straight to Excel but simply when you've only got six bands it's easy to write the number down so that's the quick run through once you've written those numbers down you can jiggle them in Excel and get whatever you want out of them so that's a very quick six minute tour of Gel Pro